and welcome to our Monday Minute. Today we're going to discuss the most recent update to the VBID model, the value-based insurance design model. This demonstration started in 2021, specifically related to the hospice benefit being included in Medicare Advantage plans. This program is completely voluntary on behalf of the Medicare Advantage organizations. They are allowed to volunteer their benefit plan packages to participate in this demonstration. Not all benefit packages are participating and even the ones that are participating sometimes are only participating in certain regions of their coverage area. The VBID model basically means for hospices that if you admit a patient that is enrolled in one of these participating benefit plan packages, you are subject to the activity involved in the demonstration. The VBID demonstration participation list gets updated every September, which happened just a few weeks ago. The September 2023 update, which was specifically for participation in January through December of 2024, includes that the number of plans participating has dropped from over 110 down to 78 participating plans. This is due in large to the United Health Group pulling all of their participating plans out of the program. We're not quite certain exactly why United pulled out, um, but we think it probably is related to the cost versus benefit factor for the benefit packages themselves. The VBID model listing will be um, included in a link um, in the transcript of this minute so that you can access that information and have immediate access to the list of participants and their contact information, including person's name, email address, and phone numbers if you have questions about the specific plans that are participating. This demonstration was set to end in 2025, but has now been extended to 2030. We are extremely convinced that there will be full participation of the hospice benefit in all Medicare Advantage plans at some point. Whether that can happen by 2030, we are not sure, um, but we do anticipate it will happen. For hospices that are in areas where there is a large um, area of coverage by the Medicare Advantage plans, um, you need to seek out uh, whether or not you would want to get in contract or in network with those participating Medicare Advantage plans. As of January 1st of 2026, participating plans will have the option of requiring their beneficiaries to elect hospice only within network hospices. Many hospices have not seen this as a critical factor at this point because prior to the beginning of this demonstration, if the patient has Medicare Part A, uh, then you are allowed to admit that patient and bill the traditional Medicare benefit. You need to make sure that you are training your eligibility verification staff now so that if they identify a Medicare Advantage plan that the patient is participating in currently, they are not just defaulting to traditional Medicare, but they are investigating as to whether that Medicare Advantage plan is actually participating in the VBID model. If participation in the VBID model is current, you will be required to bill both the Medicare Advantage plan and traditional Medicare in order to receive your payment. It is imperative that hospices in areas that have not yet been affected by this demonstration understand the logistics and exactly how it works because we fear that it will be coming to your neighborhood soon. We have provided the link um, to the website where you can also sign up for future notifications regarding webinars and education provided by CMS regarding the VBID demonstration. As with all aspects of the hospice benefit, a healthcare provider solution stands ready to assist in any way that you might need. I hope this has been beneficial and please don't hesitate to let us know if you need assistance. Have a fabulous week.